the only thing better than finally getting your driver's license is being a good driver once you have it. At Just Driving School, our goal is to help you get both. We teach preventative driving, not just defensive driving, using the latest curriculum in open classrooms with sessions to fit your schedule. Boring? Nah. The philosophy at Jeff's Driving School is learn, but have fun doing it. Jeff's Driving School, a name you can trust to get you what you want and what you need. Start now. Call. Buckle Man doesn't get me? Forget it. Look, Buckle Man's just some story they made uh, up to scare us. Uh, What's the matter with you? Uh, you uh, like you've seen a ghost. Don't even think about driving until you buckle up. Who? Who are you? I'm Buckle Man. Welcome to Channel 2 Eyewitness News with Jess Wilson and Doug Winfield. Hello, and welcome to Channel 2 Eyewitness News. I'm Jess Wilson. At the top of our news tonight, Buckle Man. Who is he? What is he? Reports of various eyewitnesses around Buckeye City report a man dressed completely in black who insists in his own very direct way that Buckeye City citizens buckle up. At a recent press conference, Police Commissioner Hingle was on the defensive. Commissioner, isn't it everyone's right to buckle up or not? Sure it is, Commissioner, buddy. what's your department doing to catch this vigilante? Particularly we're doing many people feel it's better to be thrown clear an auto crash. We're doing everything The time that people's clothes that are generally confining, no one has the right to make people wear them. Please, ladies and gentlemen, oh, please give me a let chance. this caped freak terrorize the drivers in this town. Yeah, what are you talking about? Caped freak terrorizes? Wait till they get a load of me. Boys? Fire up the satellite dish. Time to do a little public service announcement. <laughs> Law enforcement officials around the city are encouraging you to keep an eye out for this. Hello, citizens. It's time to set you straight about these safety belts. Pesky things. You do your best to get rid of them and still, there they are. And everybody's telling you that you need them. What is going on? Who is this guy? Well, you don't really need don't safety know. belts. What's safe about them? They're a pain in the neck. They're too loose fitting to really help you in an accident. It's better to be thrown clear. And besides, they wrinkle your clothes. And anyway, whose business is it what you do in your car, huh? You paid for it, right? It's your car, right? So just cut them out. That's right. It's just as easy as that. Just Cut the little suckers out of there. <laughs> In fact, I've started my own automobile dealership, Heckler Auto, specializing in specialized, customized Heckler mobiles. That's right. Low price, and you don't have to worry about any pesky safety belts. So come on down. I'll give you a good price. And you, you winged freak, I just dare you to try and stop me, huh? Yeah, this is my town, not yours. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Good lord, what do you make of that? I don't know. I don't know either, but you can bet I'm going to find out. I would love to tell you that when you're out on the road, you have one problem. You. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not the case. Now, I know that no one in this class ever drinks. <laughs> and that if you did, you certainly wouldn't drive afterward. Today, we're talking about the second biggest problem on the road. And that's the other driver. Face it, when you're out there, you don't know who's behind that wheel. You don't know what they've had to drink, what pills they may have swallowed, or what they've shot up. But you can't control them. What you can control is you. And I'll tell you that the best defense against a drunk or drug driver is a fastened safety belt. And I can't stress that enough. A fastened safety belt keeps you from striking the interior of your car. Now, which collision is the one that maims and kills? Todd. The second collision? Right. And what's the first collision? 
Bonnie? It's when your car um, hits another car or a stationary object like a tree or a telephone pole or something like that. So what's the second collision? Cause? It's the collision of you and your car's interior. But if you wear your safety belt, you strike the safety belt instead of the car's interior. And wouldn't you rather strike your safety belt than your windshield or your steering column or your door or your dashboard or... Well, I think you get the idea. Uh, you all need to study chapters 7 through 9 for the next lecture. And if you need any help, I'll be here Tuesday, but not Wednesday. Mr. Brewster. Hi. Do I know you? It's Jess Wilson, Channel 2 anchor person. Oh, hi. I've watched your show many times. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, I couldn't help but notice your keen interest in safety belts. Well, I believe you're starting a mob, yeah. Excuse me. Does the name Buckle Man mean anything to you? Well, rumors mostly. Well, I plotted those rumors out on this map of Buckeye City, and it seems every time one of those rumors showed up, it just happened to be within a 15-mile radius of this classroom. See? Well, what are you saying, Miss Wilson? I don't know that I'm saying anything, Mr. Brewster. What is it you think I'm saying? That I'm running around Buckeye City at night in a Halloween costume, scaring people to death, making them wear safety belts? Won't you admit that it is a little strange that a man of your obvious means is teaching driver's ed classes? I'm rich enough to do what I want, that's all. Are we finished? Bay of London, is the phone call or Bay of London? Mr. Brewster! What is it? Brewster Industries is a Fortune 500 company with ties to the military and space program. Now, whoever this buckle man is, we need that kind of support. You don't need support to buckle a safety belt. You just buckle it. Boom. That's it. There's no magic to it. Excuse me. I have to go. Another Mr. Brewster? <laughs> What's the matter, friend? Don't you like my chop job? What'd you say? What's the matter, friend? Don't you like my chop job? That's what I thought you said. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Mr. Brewster! Are you with this safety nut, hmm? Hey, it's that TV, Dave. TV? I love television. Maybe you can help me do a little public service announcement about individual rights. Hmm? <laughs> yes. Just a monster! Jessie Wilson? Help! Help! 
Ms. Wilson is going to help us demonstrate that safety belts really aren't all that great. We're going to place Ms. Wilson into one of our specially customized automobiles and ensure that she has an auto crash. We're going to televise this with means of special cameras hidden in the car just to show that you really don't need those pesky things. I hope you all like the way I've been fixing your cars. <laughs> if you don't, all I've got to ask is, what's the matter, friend? Don't you like my chop job? <laughs> Channel 2 is cooperating with all police and highway patrol authorities in their efforts to locate Miss Wilson. Rapid. I put one of our special tracking devices on the heckler's truck. Don't you like my chop job?
you okay? I, I think so, thanks to the safety belt. Highways are safe again, thanks to you, Buckle Man. We're all part of the same team. Mr. Brewster! Mr. Brewster! Buckle Man, wait! Yes, Miss Wilson, what can I do for you? I was just wondering, Wayne Brewster, it's you, isn't it? Now he's a hero, kissing all the loaded seals, and if you think he's Wayne Brewster, well, he ain't. He's doing a row in peace and make people think. Cause he's Buckle Man, a hero, not a pill. And if you've ever seen us before, then we know you're willing to buckle up every time you take a ride. And then we know you're concerned about staying alive. So stop to talk about Brewster, it's a gas. Cause he's Buckle Man, and he wears the mask. Well, at least tell me how I can thank you for saving my life. Just remember to buckle your safety belt. That's all we ever ask.